Well, joining me now to discuss this is Congressman Ron Estes from Kansas. He sits on the All-Powerful Ways and Means Committee and the Joint Economic Committee. Congressman, we appreciate you being here. Uh, so the Biden administration has repeatedly said it will not negotiate on the debt ceiling, even as Democrats are advocating for more spending and continuing down the path right now of unsustainable uh, government growth. What are your thoughts on the pending crisis and what we could be looking at in the months ahead? Well, it's, it's kind of as President Reagan used to say, here we go again. You know, our federal overspending is actually hitting the debt ceiling, the debt limit that's out there. And, and so we've got to do something about it. Uh, but uh, a lot of the media and the Democrats are out there saying that uh, the sky's falling and, and that we're going to default and, and uh, using the word default, which is really not the right uh, uh, terminology to use. Uh, we do have to address our overspending. That, that's the issue. We're spending more than we bring in. And uh, the, the discussion coming from the White House that uh, there's not uh, time to look at what our spending issues are as it relates to the debt limit is just not accurate. I mean, year after year, when we've talked about debt limit, uh, we've put all sorts of uh, 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 spending caps through that process. Go back even when, when President Biden was vice president in 2010 and 2011, uh, some of the biggest restrictions in spending were put in place. So it, it, this is the time to talk about it. Uh, as, as Congress, we have the responsibility to look at what legislation has been passed by prior Congresses and what legislation that's out there uh, currently in, in effect, and we have to address that. You know, one of, one of the things that really concerns me about it is that uh, raising the debt limit doesn't solve any of our spending problems. You know, we look at things like uh, Social Security and, and Medicare, and, and if we don't do something now about overspending and about our debt, then we won't be able to protect those programs in the future. So is House Speaker Kevin McCarthy potentially going into this meeting with President Biden with a framework in mind? Is there something that the conference has agreed to? These are the points that we're going to negotiate when it comes to the debt ceiling. Well, I think there's a wide range of things that we have to look at. Uh, obviously, you, you look at uh, the spending that's been done over the last two years uh, with the, the Biden administration in office. I mean, there's over $4 trillion worth of extra spending that's been brought to bear in all sorts of the different programs, the ARPA and the, the BIF and the, the IRA and, and all of these other programs, not to mention the, the $1.7 trillion uh, appropriations that was done uh, back in December. And now we're suffering through the consequences of that inflation. So when we look out there, there's, there's lots of opportunities for us to say, where can we spend more appropriately? Uh, what programs uh, may have made sense years ago that we need to address now and, and, and maybe refocus? Uh, maybe, they're, maybe they're not as effective and maybe we shouldn't be doing uh, the spending there. Uh, let's look at other areas. The things that we have to do is we, we've got the discretionary part of the budget, and then we've got uh, what's called the uh, the non-discretionary, which are programs that are set in place. And we've got to look at the the entire gauntlet of things that are out there, and and what can we what can we focus on? How do we make sure that we don't continue to uh, burden our kids and grandkids with the debt in the future to pay off uh, what we're spending today? One of the numbers that I I think about a lot is we actually are borrowing over $45,000 every second. That means we're spending enough money that we have to borrow $45,000 every second, which, which makes it stand out as uh, we've just made the future, uh, our kids and grandkids pay back more money. Your colleague, Congressman Scott Perry, said it, if the administration wants to take it to the brink, that will be their decision. And he says he thinks that that would be ultimately on their hands. Um, will it? Because while it, while you can hear a lot of the, I guess, negotiating points or the leverage points that Republicans want when it comes to cutting spending, it doesn't sound like there's something solid there from the GOP. Well, I think the thing about it is right now, we are at this point. I mean, the uh, uh, prior Congresses and, and administrations have authorized spending and, and spent more than a tax revenue that's coming in. So uh, the White House to say that uh, they're going to sit back and, and leave it up to Congress, uh, they've got to get engaged. And we need them to come to the table and start talking about 
what do we do going forward? I mean, we all took an oath of office to, to help protect the country and, and to make sure that we did good things uh, in, in our roles. And uh, they need to step up and be involved in that as well. All right, Congressman Ron Estes, we appreciate you being with us. Thank you. All right, thank you.